Woo! My bad for taking so long, y'all. But I told y'all it was coming. And we're about to get into this. But first, intro. Yo, what is good, fam bam? It is your boy, Jason JV, saying welcome to another episode of Methods to the Madness. This is episode nine, and today we're going to be uh, breaking down uh, one of my recent drops, this one being called Eye Thuggin'. This was the one that came out uh, not too terribly long ago, seven days ago, this, this dropped. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah. Now, what brought this song on? Well... What encouraged me to write this song is funny enough, I was writing another song um, that um, I still need to finish writing and I need to start recording. Um, that uh, it's going to be a totally different vibe. It's going to be a chill, laid back vibe. I don't want to spoil it too much. Although I think I kind of did on Alpha Tyler's channel. Anyway, um, I was writing uh, the, the first verse for that song and there was a line that I wrote that made me think, you know what? I think I just got an idea for another one. And that's what birthed this song. And I ended up putting all my, my time and my attention on this one because I really wanted to get this one done and I really want to get this out because um, there's been just a lot of things that I'm seeing, you know, from certain um, people in the community, you know what I'm saying, who like to carry themselves like, like little badasses and whatever. Well, and... We'll get into more of that as we break down the uh, song. So let's go ahead and get right into this. I like it to hit here. Go. Hey, yo, real talk. Everyone got a set of balls on the internet. But what happens when these motherfuckers come straight to your doorstep, right? Ready to confront your ass. Then what? Ain't no computer screen gonna protect you then. Facts. So pretty self-explanatory right here in the intro. As you can tell, we're gonna, you know, address some people, you know, some some types of people, you know what I'm saying, who be wasting their time, wasting their lives, you know what I'm saying, on some negative stuff, you know what I'm saying, whether it's, you know, being little little trolls, you know what I'm saying, like, don't get me wrong, I, I like, I, I can appreciate a good troll, but depending on the kind of, the kind of trolling that you're doing, you know what I'm saying, um, but if it's some really stupid shit that you're doing and you know what I mean? Like, like really some try hard trolling shit. You know what I'm saying? Then, um, yeah, <laughs> you're not impressing anybody. If anything, you look, you look like a dumbass. You look like a punk. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, people who, you know, like I said, you know, talking a whole lot of shit while, you know, in the safety and comfort of their very own homes, knowing full well that these people that they, they'd be trashing on, they're never going to see them, and they're not going to go out their way to go see them, you know what I'm saying, but, so yeah, so basically, yeah, you know, anyone and everyone could come on here and say whatever they want, that shit is easy, it's too easy, you know what I'm saying, anyway, don't believe me, <clears throat> why the fuck you why thugging, y'all is hella bugging, why the fuck you why thugging, y'all is hella all right before we get into the verse first things first the hook well with the exception of the intro um in the main parts of the song the hook um i will agree i will admit this is probably not one of my best hooks you know what i'm saying but i was trying to um do something different you know what i mean i was experimenting with some with some things you know what i mean as far as like the kind of singing I was providing on here and um, some uh, effects, you know, on my dog with the with the mix and everything, you know what I mean? And uh, I don't know. I think overall it still came out pretty decent. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes my hooks are really are really good. They're really you know dope, really on point. Sometimes they're not. You know what I mean? Hey, shit happens. You know what I mean? But you know we do the best we can. You know what I'm saying? As far as I just do the best that I can. You know what I mean? When trying new things and. I don't want to keep repeating myself, you know what I mean, doing the same things over and over and over again, you know what I mean, I like to try new things, sometimes I, I make my best song sometimes when I try something new, and this was one of those cases where, I don't know, depending on who you are, you either like it or you don't, 
Um, but I, I can admit that, yeah, this is probably not one of my best hooks, but I'm still rocking with it. I still fucks with it. You know what I'm saying? Because the hook does what it's supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? It's catchy. It's supposed to grab your attention. You know what I'm saying? It's something that you're going to remember when you hear it. So as far as I'm concerned, on, on that front, yeah, it's it still works. It's still a decent hook. You know what I mean? But I will admit that, yeah, it can be better. I'm so sick of these rapping queens uh, Monkey so damn mean while sitting comfortably uh, Right behind the computer screens Y'all ain't fooling me, motherfuckers too pussy Yeah, here we be, it's 20 So yeah, uh, pretty self-explanatory right there But I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll break it down for those in the back <laughs> Who may be listening and probably can't hear very well Um Pretty much, yeah, just like I said, you know I'm so sick and tired of these rapping queens What do I mean by that? Well, because they're... They, I swear, some dudes on here on this platform, they be like girls. You know what I mean? They get you know what I mean? No offense, women, but some of y'all are like this. Some of y'all are not, but some of y'all are like this. You know what I mean? You freaking just just talk a bunch of shit, talk a bunch of BS, and um, you know what I mean? Yeah, just just tearing down other people, putting out this this negative vibe, this negative energy. You know what I'm saying? And they wonder why they don't have a sub count higher than 1K. You blew it. I'm just saying. Uh, <laughs> and um, and no, I'm not going to mention names because I'm not going to help, you know, build up people who are putting out negative energy, ne negative vibes. You know what I'm saying? Um, if anything, they deserve to be where they're at because you, you are so talented, right? You can put out dope music, but yet you decide to waste your talent on that negative energy, putting out diss tracks, um, then sticking your nose into other people's beefs that have nothing to do with you, so you can make your name off of a high-profile artist. What? What the fuck? Not a good look. I'm just saying. That's not how you properly build yourself up. You know what I'm saying? So, um... Yeah, so so sick of these rapping queens, you know, mugging so mean. So yeah, you know, put up that tough guy front, you know what I mean? Trying to go all hard and shit, try to talk that, you know, that 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 freaking street lingo and shit, you know what I mean? Just fucking some some try hard shit, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but like anyone can see right through that shit. It's not too hard, you know what I mean? I and, and, and like I said, I've seen this shit so much, I can see right through it, you know what I mean? Like you're <sighs> You're 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 a fucking punk. You know what I mean? You're 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 a sensitive little bitch. You know what I'm saying? You know damn well that the stuff you're saying behind you know the safety and comfort of your own home behind a computer screen, you you would not say that if you saw whoever it is that you have a problem with face to face. I mean, let's 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 just be real about it. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, let's keep going. 2023, the year of the beast. Now what's it gonna be? Write some six teens about me. Yeah. So yeah, I had to throw that little dig in there, that, that little shot, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I, I see right through your, your little facade, and I think you guys are a bunch of dumbasses, you know what I mean, for doing what you're doing. I don't agree with it. So now, what you gonna do, you know, because I don't agree with you, you know what I mean? And I'm talking my shit. Are you gonna write some write some 16s about me? Newsflash, I'm a grown-ass man, you know what I'm saying? Uh, still technically in his mid-30s. I come from a world where sticks and stones may break my bones. Words can never hurt. You know what I'm saying? So go ahead. Write your little love letters about me or whatever. Diss me all you want. I gives no fucks. Okay. Um, I was I was not raised to be hurt by words. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm just not. <laughs> so by all means, have at it. I gives no fucks. I don't do the the internet beefs, I don't do that cyber beef shit, you know what I mean, I'm not a fucking eye thug, I'm not a, I, I'm not an eye gangster or anything like that, hell, I'm not a gangster at all, that's why you don't hear gangster shit in my music, because I'm not a gangster, you know what I'm saying, I don't, I don't, and I don't carry myself as one, yeah, I used to kick it with gangsters back in the day, I used to kick it with homeboys, but I was never, and I've said this in past videos, I was never really one of them, I just hung out with them, that was it, and then whenever they would go and do their thing, put in work, I went home. You know what I'm saying? Because mama ain't raised no fool. You know what I'm saying? Bruh, anyway. Yeah, bring the angry poetry. I can use the love from your phony ass eye thugs. Exactly. Bring that angry poetry. Because at the end of the day, that's what these diss tracks are. Think about it. 
you you want to write a diss track on somebody and say their name in a song and it's like why you don't like this person you you hate this person so with that mindset why would you put somebody you don't like somebody that you hate with every fiber of your being why would you put their name in the spotlight you know what i'm saying and with you being at, at, at such a low sub count, again, below 1K, and y'all know who you are, why should anybody that, that comes in that wants to see what you're all about, why should they care about the person that you're dissing? Why should they care that you're pissed off and you're, you know, in a thick of some, of some fucking drama, of some fucking bullshit? Because, yes, to a degree, drama does sell. You know what I mean? And you're only gonna, but yet you're only gonna have a small portion of people, right, who have nothing better to do with their lives but to watch some drama play out. You know what I mean? And be be into the, in, into it. You know what I mean? And but yet, how many other channels are on this platform where there's always drama? You know what I'm saying? And sooner or later, you know, people migrate channel to channel. That's all about that drama. You know what I mean? Until eventually, shit just gets old. People get tired of it, and then they move on to something else. I'm just saying, drama may may sell, but it only sells temporarily until you know until people get tired of you, and then you gotta rethink your strategy. You know what I'm saying, bruh? And with 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 your talent, I'm sure you got something far better to talk about, something far more important to talk about. But I mean, if you want to squander your talents on some negative shit, on some bullshit. You got nobody to blame but yourself as to why you're still at that low sub count that you have. You have no one but yourself to blame when your videos don't get the number of views that you desire. And miss me with that bullshit about, oh, well, I'm not here for the views anyway. I'm not here to kiss ass or, or you know, suck D's for, for views and shit. If you're on this platform, right, and you're a content creator, you're here for the views. You're here for the numbers. Don't bullshit me. Don't bullshit anybody when it comes to that shit. Because if you're not on here to get views, if you're not on here to get numbers, you're wasting the viewer's time. And you're wasting your time. And you're not going to get anywhere. If that's your mindset, if that's your attitude. So, get your head out of your ass. Everyone wants to be a gangster until it's time to get the shit done. Motherfucker, call your phone. Exactly. Everybody wants to be a gangster, right? Everyone wants, wants to be that, that, that tough guy, tough gal, whatever the case. But then, like I said, what happens when reality slaps you in the face, right? And you're, you're face to face with that person that, that you've been, you know, talking all this shit about, right? And this person that you've been dissing in your music. What happens when you actually run into that person what are you going to do then and and for you viewers i want you guys to pay attention to something like this because here's something that i've noticed as a matter of fact me and some homies had a conversation about this not long ago the reason why diss tracks of yesteryear have more respect than any of these diss tracks that come out in today's day and age is because artists back then were some real motherfuckers right that came up from the hood you know what i'm saying uh, and they and they they didn't just trash on a rival through through their music. They actually went and confronted their rivals. You know what I mean? And whenever they they would talk about possibly meeting their rival, seeing their rival, it's they always use the word when and not if. Case in point, we were listening to Eminem's. Uh, this track to Limp Biscuit called Girls. And there's a point, in, at, I believe it's towards the end of the song, if not at the very end of the song, where when Eminem talks to Lethal, right? Uh, Lethal, who is uh, Fred Durst's DJ. Listen to what, what Eminem tells him. He says, he says, Le Lethal, I'm knocking you out when I see you, and I will see you. Like, he's manifesting, you know, the possibility of seeing DJ Lethal. He's using words like when and I will. This has today will use 
this phrase. Dog, you better hope that I don't run into you because if I see you. Why it's got to be if? Why can't it be when? I'm saying. I'm saying. Difference between Pac said, and, uh, to quote Tupac, there's a difference between riders and punks. Which side are you on? Just saying. Me bros, you only shit to me, but a sorority club. Sisterhood of the yappity yap. Now I'm Sisterhood of the yappity yap. Sorority club, sisterhood of the yappity yap. Obviously, I'm calling these, these dudes girls. Because that's what they are. That's what they be acting like. You know what I'm saying? Again, in the overall... Spec spectrum, right? And the overall bigger picture of things. Realize where you are on the YouTube food chain. You haven't broken 1K sub yet. Maybe you will one day. You're close. But you haven't broken it yet. Why is that? Why is that? Maybe it's your strategy. I want to rethink it. I'm just saying. Don't you dare talk back. Cause y'all is hella whack. You can gag on this nutsack. Oh wait. Y'all might like that. Now this ain't no motherfucking diss track. This a laugh at your ass Why track. Why fuck you? Exactly. This ain't no diss track. You know what I'm saying? It's not aimed at anyone in particular. It's aimed at a group of people who be doing shit like this. You know what I mean? Again, hiding behind a computer screen. Hiding behind a camera. Putting up that tough front with that mean mug. You know what I mean? And talking a good game. Act, you know what I mean? Putting on this, this, this persona. That's what it is. It's a persona. At the end of the day, it's a character. They're they're portraying a character. You know what I'm saying? But really, deep down inside, they're freaking punks. They're sissies. They're not going to do nothing. But keep writing more love letters. You know what I mean? To people that they claim they don't like. They claim they hate. But yet, still allow them to rent free space in their dome pieces. Still give them that, that attention. You know what I mean? Giving them a spotlight. Which doesn't make any sense because, again, if you don't like somebody, you hate somebody, why give them any attention? Why direct traffic their way? Because that's something else you got to think about, too. When you're dissing somebody, right, and you blast them or whatever in your, in your, in your diss track, you're, you're, you're pushing your traffic towards there. And if this person... And what if this person is a better MC than you, right? And they're talking about far more important things, far better things. There, go, there, goes, there goes your audience, man. You just gave your audience to whoever it is that you were dissing. You I thugging? Y'all is hella bugging. Why? Facts. Why are you I thugging? Why are you, why are you being an internet thug? Why are you being an internet gangster? Y'all are hella bugging. Stop bugging. Why the fuck you why thugging? Y'all is hella bugging. Why the fuck you why thugging? Y'all is hella bugging. Why the fuck you why thugging? Y'all is hella bugging. Couldn't say shit to my front. You gotta spill it all right behind my back. Now, what do I mean by this? There was a person, again, I'm not naming names because I'm not promoting people who are on bullshit. You know what I'm saying? If that makes me bitch made in some people's eyes, then that's fine, but understand that you're thinking that and you're probably saying that in the safety and comfort of your own home and therefore are proving my point. Just a fair warning. <clears throat> now, what I mean by this was that there was someone I talked to behind the scenes, right? And I checked. And I, I go, hey, are, is everything cool? Is everything copacetic? Do we have beef? person said no. I catched him on a live. Making some little snide, snarky remarks, you know what I mean? That makes me think differently. So I'm like, okay, cool. I see where, where you really stand on things. I'm not going to fuck with you. I'm just going to take my leave. Whatever. You do you. You know what I'm saying? Not the first time I walked away from somebody who did some dumb shit. Probably won't be the last time either. Anyway. Man, y'all must really love them rats. How the fuck you gonna act, Raphael, on the ass when it make you hurt worse than a master splinter? So cold like an endless winter. Don't gotta hit you with a lyrical sprinter. So a little bit of a rhyme scheme and, and a little bit of a Ninja Turtle bar there. You know, Raphael on that ass. You know what I'm saying? Actually, let me go back to the beginning. 
because I'm missing some things on my own song. I'm gonna act Raphael on the ass for the Why the fuck you wise again? Y'all is hella buggy. Couldn't say shit to my front. You gotta spill it all right behind my back. Man, y'all must really love them rats. How the fuck you. So, y'all must really love them rats. Y'all must be, be a fan of rats or whatever. Be, you know what I mean? Whether it's. Because whether it's people that are on your team that are letting me know what's being said and whatnot, or if it's you directly opening your big fat mouth, you know what I mean, when saying some some dumb shit about me. Either way, man, a lot of ratting coming from that that community, and therefore, I don't want to associate with no damn rats. You know what I'm saying? You're going to act Raphael on the ass and then make you hurt worse than a master splinter. So... So Raphael on the ass gonna make you hurt worse than a master splinter. I like turtles. I like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. You know what I'm saying? Raphael, my favorite Ninja Turtle. Um, <laughs> so that's why I'm saying Raphael on that ass. You know what I'm saying? Gonna make you hurt worse than a master splinter. Obviously, master splinter is uh, the turtles um, father figure. He's their sensei. You know what I'm saying? Um, he's the only father that they ever knew or, or will ever know. You know what I'm saying? And um, hurt you worse than a master splitter. Kind of a double there. Whether it's whether people find it forced or not, either way, it's a double. You know, going to hurt you worse than a master splinter. You know what I mean? Hurt you worse than a freaking splinter that like you can get on your on your hands, on your foot or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then uh, ain't got to hit you with a lyrical sprinter, meaning I'm not going to hide what I'm saying by... Uh, by, by utilizing chopper flows. No, I'm saying I'm going to make my points loud and perfectly clear. And I'm going to say it at, at a speed where you can hear every single word that I'm saying. Cold like an endless winter. Don't got to hit you with a lyrical sprinter. Nah, I'll make it real clear for all to hear. Don't waste my time on some hive minds along. Exactly. Some of these lives that I used to kick it with that I don't kick it with. That I don't kick it in any, uh, anymore. Anymore. Uh, be you know what I mean? They have all these uh, little little sheeples, if you will, these sheep, these bots. You know what I mean? That just go along with the program. You know what I mean? They, you know, there's not not really a whole lot, a whole lot of freaking free thinkers. It it literally is a hive mind. It's an echo chamber. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not one for echo chambers. I don't like hanging out in, in freaking echo chambers. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry. I just I'm just not. And um, I noticed that at times. When I would put contrarian comments in there, I would be ignored. And so, why am I gonna stick around um, on channels? And why am I gonna, you know, promote channels? You know what I'm saying? That are ignoring me, not you know, not um, making me feel welcome. You know what I'm saying? Um, whether I agree with them on some things or not. So, you know, ain't no point in supporting people like that. You know what I'm saying? Especially when they they don't support you that heavy. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying. With the gas, I'm bringing in the light. Can't burn Donny Blaze or we done the ride. Not a chamber big enough for y'all to hide. But so again, going back to the whole echo chamber thing, but then of course leading into that, you know, yeah, I'm I'm burning down lyrically, not not really lyrically. You know what I'm saying? People like this because you know what I mean I'm bringing in the gas, uh, which is a reference to you know people gaslighting each other in in this little group. You know what I'm saying? Um, yo, if I'll bring the gas and I'll bring the light, but I ain't gonna bring it to gaslight you, you know what I'm saying? Um, again, not really. So, YouTube, calm down. I'm not trying to be one of those eye thugs, I'm not trying to be one of those internet gangsters, I'm not threatening anybody or whatever. Again, this is just me expressing myself, utilizing my, my poetry, you know what I'm saying, to express, you know, things that are on my mind, things that are on my heart. Um, you know, what I mean, just want to put that disclaimer out there because you know kind of got to watch what you say on this platform especially if you want to last on here um so yeah you know bringing in that 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 fire you know what i mean to burn this nonsense down because we don't need this you know what i mean we, there's enough negativity in this world as is i'm not trying to add to it i'm not, not trying to contribute to it i'm just you know just raising awareness you know what i mean on this negativity on this toxicity that i'm seeing you know what i mean if you guys catch stuff like this, don't don't stick around in channels like that, man. Cause that's just not that's just not cool. What people like that are doing is just not cool. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody got no time for no no damn negativity. Ain't nobody got time for that. Come on now, we need some we need some positivity, man. You know what I'm saying? We need we need some love in this business. 
not not hate. All right, we don't we don't need that. You know what I mean? Take that take that noise elsewhere. You feel me? And then of course, can't burn Johnny Blaze. Always down the ride. Like I said earlier, words are not gonna bother me. So anyone catch offense, anyone catches feels to the point to where they may want to write a diss track on me, by all means go right ahead. You're not gonna hurt me with words. So it, it would be just a waste of time, energy, paper, a dope beat that you know can have better lyrics on it. But if that's what you want to do with your with your time, because at the end of the day it's your time that you're not getting back. By all means, have at it. I don't care. You're not going to hurt my feelings over words. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> and uh, always down the ride, meaning, like, yo, if you want to make some money, and, yo, hey, I'm down to collab, you know what I'm saying, um, on some positive on some positive vibes, you know what I mean? I'm down to collab with anybody. I'm down to work with anybody. So as long as you're, we're, we're not on some, some negativity, hey, I'll work with you. You know what I'm saying? Let's, let's go get this money. You know what I mean? Bruh, let's go. Bunch of insecure bitches get covered in stitches or left in ditches. No, you salty snitches. No need to fret, for this is not a threat. Just calling you out on your motherfucking bullshit. So, bunch of insecure bitches, right? That get covered in stitches, left in ditches. Exactly. Th these are the kind of people that. What I'm saying is, yeah, it, th these are the kind of people if they that are so easily triggered by words. You know what I mean? Uh, people who get so easily butt hurt over words, they're they're just that sensitive, you know what I'm saying? Because, and it's like, why, 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 why be a weak individual? Just because you can write a dope diss track in your mind, um, that doesn't make you tough. It doesn't make you Billy badass. It doesn't. All it proves at the end of the day is that you're easily triggered by words. You, you're 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 a sensitive little pussy. You're, you know what I'm saying? You are bitch made. Because you let things like words bother you. Words only have as much power as you give them. At the end of the day. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. And if you're not careful, you let that stuff bother you so much to where you start, you know, acting reckless. Could cost you your life. I'm just saying. And, I, and again, that's not a threat. It's just a warning. Not from me. I'm just saying, you know, just be careful with, with how you conduct yourself. Watch what you say. Watch how you act. Watch what you do. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not saying it's me. I'm just saying you might, you're only Billy Badass, again, behind a computer screen, and you can only be Billy Badass behind a computer screen for so long until eventually you run into the wrong person that's a, that's that actually is a Billy badass, and could possibly hurt you or worse, because you decided to act an ass. And this is just a little warning because I don't want nothing to happen to, you know, people. You know what I mean? Regardless if what their issues are, whatever the hell, you know what I mean? I don't. I want to see people make it. I want to see people thrive. You feel me? I don't want to see people get hurt. I don't want to see people get, you know, kicked off of YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Because they, they, they decided to, to be stupid. Be sensitive. Be insecure. I'm just saying. Can't compare to this. Why the fuck you why thugging? Y'all is hella bugging. Why the fuck you why thugging? Y'all is hella bugging. Why the fuck you why thugging? Y'all is hella why the fuck you why thugging? Y'all is hella bugging. Bruh, if I said this once, I said it a thousand times. The loudest motherfucker in the room is the most scared motherfucker in the room. Bet. Now, what do I mean by when I said the loudest motherfucker in the room is the most scared motherfucker in the room? Meaning, if someone's got a big mouth, right, they, 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 they talk a good game, talking about how tough they think they are, how much of a badass they think they are, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Odds are, that's probably the most insecure person in the room, and therefore that is the weakest person in the room, and you could probably, you know, with very little effort, you know, whip their ass, you know what I'm saying? And please don't misconstrue that. I'm not encouraging violence or anything like that. I'm just saying, you know what I mean? Just... 
give us some life lessons here, if you will. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> and here's the thing that bothers me about that. People want to model their rap career after real motherfuckers like, like Tupac and Hobson. Now, Hobson has a quote in one of his songs, and I forget the name of the song that, that this is in, but I re- but this lyric has always stuck with me. You know what I'm saying? And um, <clears throat> I believe it, it, it's, and I'm a, I'm a paraphrase, because I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to get it word for word, but it's something along the lines that a real motherfucker doesn't have to say he's real so as long as he knows he's real. Meaning, if you truly believe in your heart of hearts that you are a real motherfucker, you don't have to say it. Because it's not who you think you're talking to that you need to convince. It's yourself you need to convince. Because, you, and which shows that you lack confidence. And what turns women on more than anything? I mean, at least a real woman, a solid woman? Confidence. Women find confidence attractive. Bruh, just saying. You know what's funny to me when it comes down to you little dummies is that y'all want to be the next Pac. How you gonna front when you know you're too soft? I bet you never seen a Glock. I got caught up on the block. Okay, now where does this little scheme come from? You know what I'm saying? When what's what's really funny to me when it comes down to you little little dummies is that y'all want to be the next Pac. How you gonna front when you know you're too soft? Exactly. Exactly. How you gonna claim to be the next Pac when your ass is too damn soft? You know what I mean? You getting hurt again? You getting butt hurt over words? You're letting words cause you to write a diss track towards somebody that you again you claim you hate you claim you don't like but yet you want to get in the spotlight and you think by doing that it's going to cause people to stay away from those people but really really it may just cause the opposite effect you may be pushing your traffic over to those people because those people you're dissing might be not always the case but might be better quality people than you you blew it bish so it probably would make more sense if you're not trying to give these people clout to just not even acknowledge them i'm just saying you ain't a thug lifer, you just a stupid little whiner for the pacifier. Or is it a new diaper? Yeah, I know the type. Ain't hard to decipher. Facts. You're never gonna be the next Pac. I don't care what anyone says. There will never be another Pac. Not even me. Yeah, I've done some Tupac remixes, but guess what? I'm still not the next Pac. And I'm not trying to be the next Pac. Those are some awfully big shoes to fill. And I find it disrespectful if anyone truly believes that they can fill those shoes. There is no second coming of your favorite rapper. What I encourage new, young, up-and-coming MCs to do, and this goes for me as well, be the first and only you. Be the best version of yourself that you can possibly be. Why? Because that's real. Talk about you. You know what I'm saying? Let us in as to who you are. Because that's cool. That's real. You don't have to try so hard to impress anybody. All it takes is a little bit of confidence. And some self-respect. Why the fuck you why thugging? Y'all is hella bugging. Why the fuck you why thugging? Y'all is hella bugging. Why the fuck you why thugging? Y'all is hella bugging. Why the fuck you why thugging? Y'all is hella Alright, 
we don't have to watch the outro on this. You know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> so yeah, y'all, that's pretty much it. My song "I Thuggin," where I'm basically just addressing you know these internet gangsters, these cyber warriors, right? That think they're tough because you know they 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 talk a bunch of shit. You know what I mean? In the safety and comfort of their own home. You know, so <clears throat> hopefully. You know, this song drives holding the point that shit like that needs to stop, man. Stop being toxic. Stop being negative. You know what I'm saying? Um, this ain't the time or the place to be doing that. Especially when there's far more important things to be worried about right now. You know what I mean? And there's far more scary, dangerous things going on in the world right now. You know what I'm saying? To where our future may be in question. So... Just a little food for thought, something to think about, something to marinate on. You know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm just, I'm just tired of nonsense. I'm tired of negativity. I'm tired of it. You know these, these internet beefs, these fucking rap beefs. You know what I'm saying? That really, it's not doing anybody any favors at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? And um, I don't care at the end of the day too. I'm not gonna let words bother me. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, if people want to respond to this, write, 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 write a response to this and diss me or whatever. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm a grown ass man. Like I said, in my mid thirties. You know, what I mean, the fuck do I look like? You know, what I'm saying, crying over words and attacking people over words. You know, what I'm saying, bruh, bruh. All right, y'all. <clears throat> Pretty much all I gotta say. Y'all know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, if you're new here, that'll be greatly appreciated. Uh, we do have another uh, method to the madness episode coming up. I really want to get this one out of the way because I. You know, want to get back to the positive vibes. I want to stay on the positive vibes. You know what I'm saying? And um, I really want to get in depth with the next song that we're gonna have, be having a look at, which is um, the Indian Lincoln Park Indian cover that I did with Wee Scheme. Shout out to the homie Wee Scheme. Uh, really appreciate him for helping me out with that one. We'll get into more about that <clears throat> in that next episode. So uh, yeah. So until then, y'all have a blessed one. I catch y'all on the next one. All right. Later. Jason JV on YouTube. Uh, what's up with you, Jason JV? What up, Jason JV? I'm just sending love, peace, and blessings to you. Jason, you are my homeboy, my guy. Don't call me guy, pal. Don't call me buddy, pal. Much love to you, JV. Chris Calico. Cali, baby. Oh. What's up, JV? My name's Jimmy Bass. I just want to have the genetic dude with a little trick. Who's saying what's up, Jimmy? You get motherfucking head up. Uh, uh, I don't know why you're sad. If you're sad, if you're sad, if you're happy. I don't mean too happy. I don't mean expecting shit. It's like it occurs all the time. So you know what I'm saying?